the Lord. Pastor Parker, God bless you. Amen. Good morning, EW3. God bless you. It's at about that time, amen, 10.30 on this Sunday morning, amen. Uh, God bless you, Pastor Fleming. Appreciate you popping in, amen. Um, again, good morning to everyone. God bless you. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. And so... Um, but we're located uh, in the great uh, city of Radcliffe here in the state of Kentucky. Amen. K to the Y. <laughs> Amen. Um, Amen. Why, thank you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but again, uh, grateful to be in your hearing today and even in your seeing. Um, don't know when and if my brother will pop on today, but wanted to wish him a uh, happy birthday, amen. My mother celebrated a birthday this past week, amen. Happy birthday to her. God bless you again. Um, and uh, my sister, the, the, the week, be well, a couple of days before that. Um, and so uh, we some December babies, amen. And uh, for anybody else that I may have hit up on Facebook for their birthday, uh, I like to say that great things were birthed in December, amen. <laughs> amen. And so, uh, again, just a little uh, humor this morning, uh, but appreciate God. God bless you there, Sunset Lily. Amen. Um, one of these days, I'm going to call you by your name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you there, Minister Fleming. All right. So, uh, again, appreciate you guys coming in. Um, the weather is not so great here. Amen. Looks a little gloomy outside. But yet my soul rejoices. Amen. And I bless God for each of you. God bless you there, Sister Alicia. Amen. Um, again, grateful to be in your hearing and in your seeing today. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready to launch in. And uh, we're going to Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Once again, Hebrews, the fourth chapter chapter. Amen. Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Um, just a couple of verses to start out. Uh, I plan on going a little bit deeper into this, but just, just a few verses to start to start us out today. Amen. Hebrews, the fourth chapter, New King James Version. I'm going to begin at verse 11. Verse 11. Amen. It says, let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, from his sight, 
but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Amen. Uh, again, uh, good morning, good morning. God bless you there, Pastor Armo. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Blessings, blessings, blessings to Ghana. Uh, love you. Amen. Um, again, uh, Hebrews 4, uh, verses 11 through 13. And so this is just to, to, to get us started out, amen, as we begin to launch into this particular, uh, uh, um, I don't know how long, but I, I know it's probably going to be at least two parts, amen, maybe three. Um, but uh, because I, th I think there's, there, there's, there is some uh, instructions uh, that we, the, 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 the people of God, the body of Christ, there's some things that we have to understand. I think oftentimes that we hear these things and we read these scriptures, we see these scriptures and we say, okay, I got it. And we able to, 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 to move on. Amen. But at some point there's a deeper, uh, 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 a, a, a way that, we, that, that the word needs to penetrate us. Amen. That we may be, uh, better at doing the things that God has called us to do. Amen. And so, uh, again, Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verses 11 through 13. And so we're calling this uh, that the word will find us. Amen. The word will find us. And so for some, that may not sound like much. Amen. And, and, and that's OK. Um, but I would, I, I, I would say this to us. I'll, I'll say it like this. Um, anybody that's, that's, that's spent any time in the streets. Amen. Uh, or uh, uh, it doesn't have to be the streets. I would just say this: um, if 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 uh, a woman is looking for her husband and she finds him, Amen, doing something that 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 he ain't got no business doing, it's it's like I found you, <laughs> Amen, or vice versa. I found you. And so on the streets, amen, when you, when, 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 you know, you, you, you pushing up on somebody, amen. Oh, so I, I, I found you. Or even if you in, um, you know, you, you, you boyfriend and you girlfriend in there, or you got a friend or just a friend and you, you know, they're telling you stuff and then you find out that something's not true. You'd be like, I found you out. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I found you. <laughs> and so I located you, you know, where you really are. Amen. And so, uh, and so what the thing that I'm telling us is that the word will find us. Amen. The word will find us, whether it be good or, or matter of fact, this time of the year, amen. They say Santa Claus, amen. Uh, whether you're naughty or nice. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, Sa Santa Claus, Santa Claus knows is, is, is what they tell us. Amen. And so God bless you that minister way. Amen. And so the thing that I'm telling us is that the word will find us. The word will find us. And so as we prepare to launch into this, amen, I want us to understand these things, amen, that the word will find us. And so that is the premise. That's the gist of where we're going today is that the word will find us. And so uh, when we think about that, remember several weeks ago, uh, we, we did the, 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 the series on make me over again, because we found out that we were a, a marred people. Amen. And even that, uh, uh, as the children of Israel, that we were still governing ourselves as the children of Israel instead of the children of God. And so, uh, and so when, when we think about that, we, 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 we transition into last week's, uh, bend, don't break, bend, don't break. And so when, as we begin to, uh, uh, look at bend, don't break, God bless you there, cousin Jasper, uh, being don't break. The thing that I that, that I want us to really understand is that uh, sometimes, Amen. The best way to get straight, Amen, is to be bent because we don't under we we don't realize that sometimes during life that affliction when because again we came we we came from Psalm thirty four. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, Amen. And so we know that uh, sometimes we can think that we're straight. Amen. In God, but afflictions come. Amen. Meaning trouble, trouble come, or or or, or some type of uh, wickedness, some type of evil, some something comes, and that stuff comes. Amen. To bend us back into the direction that God will have us to go. But the 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 the, the, the idea is to never break. Amen. To bend and not to break. But to, and, and you'll find. Amen. God bless you there, Minister Parker. Amen. God bless you there, uh, Sister Tanya. Amen. 
And, and so, uh, so we so we talked about bend, don't break. Bend, don't break. And so, because we know we're on the potter's wheel and we're being made over again, amen, there's some stretching, there's some bending, there's some stuff that needs to happen while we're on the potter's wheel. But he, he, he didn't have us on the wheel to break us, amen, but to bend us into shape, amen. And so, the objective of, of, of afflictions, amen, because again, that, that potter be slapping that, <laughs> be slapping on that clay, you know, he be rubbing on it, amen, and try, trying to shake that, that the, the clay on the potter's wheel. And so, it lets us know, amen, that he's bending us, amen, and, but, his, but the, his thing is never to break us, amen, and so we understand that afflictions come to bend us into the place that God would have us to be, amen, and so as we transition from make me over again to bend, don't break, we come into this thing today in Hebrews, the fourth chapter, that, that we're talking about, amen, that the word will find us, the word will find us. Amen. And so let's launch in. Amen. Let's, 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 let's talk about it. So verse 11 begins this way. It says, let us, somebody say us. Amen. Us, us. Amen. Because sometimes, amen, when the word comes, we like to say that's for them. Oh, that's for you. Sister, he talking about you. <laughs> Brother, that's for you. Cause I seen you last night, but no, he said, let us. <laughs> us. That includes me, the one that's given the word. Amen. Me too. I'm included. Amen. He says, let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. Amen. That rest. Lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. And so here it is. Listen, listen, listen. So as this starts out, it says, let us, amen. Therefore be diligent to enter that rest, that rest. And so it's important for us to understand, okay, if, if, if Apostle, if you're going to start right here in the 11th verse, and this thing is going to tell us to let us be diligent to enter into that rest, then what is that rest? What, what, what are you talking about? What is that rest? And for us to really understand what that rest is, amen, I need to go back up to verse 1. I need to go back up to verse 1, amen, uh, because here it is. Listen. Verse 1 says this, Hebrews 4, verse 1. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, and so it's his rest, God's rest. You know, know that if, especially if you're in the New King James, you see that it's a capital H, amen, his rest. And so it's God's rest. So therefore, since a promise remains, remains of entering his rest, let us fear, lest any of you seem to have come short of it. And so it lets us know that, to, to, that, that the rest of God, his rest, amen, that we can really, uh, as believers, us, we can come short of God's rest. Amen. That's what it says. Listen, I'm going to read it again. Verse 1, Hebrews 4, verse 1. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear, lest any of you seem to have come short of it. Amen. And so it goes on to say some other things, but I'm dropping back down to verse 11 because I want us to understand what this rest is. Amen. It's his rest. It's God's rest. Amen. And again, it, it can seem that we, that, that we have come short of that rest. And so we have to understand, well, what is that rest? What is he talking about? God bless you there, Sister Jackie. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And so he says, let us therefore be diligent. Amen. That we got to strive, that we got to be persevering, that we got to press. Amen. Because sometimes we think, well, I, I was baptized and I gave God my life and that's it. But no, there is still a strive every day. I don't know. I don't know what it's like for you, but every day you wake up. Amen. Yes. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. But there's a fight. Amen. To remain. There's a fight because of that phone call or because of this action or because of that or, or whatever. All the stuff that's going on around us. We need to understand that there is still a fight. Amen. They were still oppressed. Amen. But because again, the devil is not going to sleep. Amen. He's not, he's not going to rest on us. Amen. The Bible tells us that he'll go away for a while. Amen. But he's coming back. And so we, that, that evil is always present. And so there's a fight to remain. Amen. And so it lets us know that we have to be diligent about this thing. God bless you there, Carl Pruitt. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And so listen, listen to this now. 
Hebrews 4, the 11th chapter, uh, Hebrews 4, the uh, uh, 11th verse, amen? He says, let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. And I told us in verse 1, I showed us that he's talking about his rest, the rest of the Lord, okay? So the thing that we have to understand is about that rest, that rest. Is that rest, amen, listen, again, I can't speak for everyone, but that rest is regardless of what's going on around me, I can rest in God. The peace of God is on my life. Amen. That rest is the rest that says, uh, I know God has delivered me from this or from that. Amen. You've heard me talk about my, uh, 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 as I call them, my, my troubles. Amen. But, but before coming to Christ. Amen. But now the power of God is on my life that I don't have to do the same things. Amen. And so that rest is knowing that God has delivered me from that. Amen. Or from this. And so, again, it's that kind of rest. That The, the rest that he's talking about, when he says that rest, amen, uh, God bless you there, Uncle Bobby, amen, that rest, that rest, that rest, that's, that's the kind of rest that says I'm free to lift my hands, <laughs> amen. That kind of rest says I'm free to bless God, amen, regardless of what's going on around me. That that rest says that, hey, that, that, that my soul shall make a boast in the Lord, amen, that type of rest. Amen. That type of rest says that 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 um, that I may not have everything that I need, but my God shall supply. Amen. That rest. Amen. Knowing that I'm trusting God. Amen. So that rest. And that's why he tells us to be diligent about coming into that rest. God bless you there, Brother Derek Britt. Amen. Uh, but it, he says, so we have to be diligent about that. Amen. We have to strive for that because if not, amen, I'm telling us that sometimes the things that are going on in this life today, amen, will cause us, amen, to, 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 to fall short of that rest, fall short of that rest. And so, so what do you mean? What, what's an example of falling short of that rest? People that, 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 um, and I, matter of fact, I'll use this. You've heard me use this example before, but people that, that, uh, uh, live to work, Instead of working to live. Uh-huh. People that live to work instead of working to live. Okay. So so people that live to work, amen. All they can think about is work, 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 work. Amen. I gotta grind. I gotta get mine. I gotta get ahead. I gotta be here. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. But people that 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 uh uh live, I mean that work to live, amen. They go to work, they do what they gotta do, and they they, they take their finances and they, they 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 take care of their families, they do the things they gotta do, they spend time with their family. If 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 it means that hey, somebody somebody in the family is sick. They take that sick time and spend it with their family. They'll do, but somebody that 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 live to work, hey amen. Uh, uh. They got. I, oh, I got to go to work. I got. I got to go to work. It don't matter what's going on. I got. I got to get to work, hey amen. And sometimes we feel like, well, that's a responsibility. That that's you know. And again, you have you have to weigh this. But the truth is, hey amen. When you can rest in God, you know that hey. Everything is going to be all right. I'm going to do the things that I need to do the best I can do it, amen, and leave it in God's hand. Glory to God, amen. That's when you know that you've come into that rest, amen. Well, I'm going to trust God, amen. It, don't, it, didn't, it didn't say that I'm going to be lazy and trust God, amen, but I'm going to trust God with what I have, and I'm going to do the best. I'm, I'm, I'm going to allow, amen, God to handle this situation, that situation, or whatever, but I'm going to be the man or the woman that God has called me to be, amen. I'm going to do what God has called me to do. In other words, I am going to trust in the Lord, amen. And when you and when we come to that place, amen, that's where we know that we are resting in God, amen. That we're resting in God. So let's look at it again now. Let's look at it, amen. I want to make sure that we're understanding this as the children of God, as the people of God. Understand this verse 11 it says, Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. And again, took us to verse one, it's talking about his rest, amen, the rest of God. And so the thing that I would, that I, I go on and to mention about that rest is that we live in a time, amen, and, 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 and in this time, it came from a time of old, but we're still living in the time, amen, where we feel like my labors, my work, the stuff that I do with my hands, amen, the stuff that I do with my finances, amen, uh, 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 is the things that 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 I'm laboring that I'm laboring to do for my salvation. 
Amen. Yeah, I understand. The scripture says to work while it's day. Amen. I, I, I understand it says that faith without works is dead. Amen. But the thing that I want us to understand is that you can't earn this. Amen. You can't earn this. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to read it one more time. I want, I want you to grab this. Let us therefore be, be diligent to enter that rest. And so what it's telling us is that the rest is already there. <laughs> oh, God. Did you catch that? Be diligent to enter that rest. And so the rest is already there. We just have to enter it. Yes. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. And so it lets us know, amen, it's not to mean that we're not supposed to work, that we're not. But your work, amen, is not the thing that pleases God. Faith moves God. Amen. And so trusting him, trusting him, loving God. Amen. Come on. Come on, somebody. Amen. The word will find us. The word will find us. Okay. And so the thing that I'm telling us today, amen, it's up to us to allow the word to find us. Amen. And so I'm giving this, this to us today and let us know that no matter how hard that you uh, uh, feel like, hey, I got to, I, 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 hey, I got to get out today. I got to, I got to feed the homeless. I got to make sure I go over here. I got to make sure that, hey, uh, uh, I, I go to the, uh, the woman's shelter. I got to, uh, oh, I need to make sure I do, I mean, all this other stuff. And yes, there are some things that God has called us to do. Make no, listen, I'm telling us, there are some things he called us to do. Amen. But we have to understand that that is, that, that, that work, amen, is not a work to righteousness. Amen. God has already done the work. Amen. God has already done it. And so, amen. And, and, and so we have this mentality about, hey, another day, another dollar. And so if it's another day, another dollar, that means I need to stay on my grind. I need to always be doing something. I need to always be busy, 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 busy. And we get so busy that we don't even hear God no more. Mm. We get so busy that we don't, we don't spend time with God. Amen. We get so busy in the works that we can't rest. That we can't enter into the rest and trust God. Amen. We can't enter into the rest and be in a relationship with God. Amen. We get so caught up there into doing, you know, hey, I got to get to the church. I got to do this. I got to make sure this is done. I got to go see my sister so-and-so. And, -so -and, -so, and I got to do that. And, 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 and again, we miss, we get so caught up in the works that we miss the rest. Amen. What are you talking about? Amen. Where it seems that we have fallen short of the rest. Amen. And so and we find where even the believers, they get wore out. The ones that say that, hey, I'm living for God. I'm doing this. And, and again, but because we've gotten caught up in doing the work, we've got caught up in doing and, and see because that work that we do is from here. And oftentimes from here, instead of it being what God has called us to do or what God has led us to do, we do it from here. And we do it from here because we have a heart for people. Amen. That's just that's just who we are. We have a heart for people. We have a heart to to do some things. And again, uh, uh, that's how we were built. Amen. That's that's you know when, when when you come into the faith. Amen. And God begin to soften your heart. Amen. So we do have a heart for these things, but that doesn't mean that God has led you to do that. That doesn't mean that God has called you to do that. Amen. And 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 so and even if he did, amen, we have to understand that it's just it's it's but a work, amen. It's not for your righteousness sake, it's not for your uh, uh, a salvation, so to speak. Amen. I'm talking about the work of these hands. Yes, we are laboring to keep our to keep our soul, amen. That's why we have to work out our salvation, amen. But but that's to keep us. I'm not but but it, Hear me now. I'm talking about the works of our hands, the works that we feel like, hey, I got to touch this. I got to be doing this. I got to be doing that. Come on now. The word will find us. Amen. The word will find us. Glory to God. Amen. And so listen to this one more time. Verse 11. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. Amen. That rest. Amen. Anybody want to be in that rest? Anybody want to be in the, uh, uh, at peace with God? Amen. Anybody, you know, I'm, I'm talking about regardless of a of, of a pandemic, regardless of, of, of an election that we that, that the peace of God is over our lives. Amen. Anybody want to be in that rest? Amen. That's an important place. Amen. God bless you there. Uh, Brenda Tolbert. Amen. God bless you. Um, and so that rest, that rest, that rest. Any, anybody want to be in that rest when uh, despite everything that's going on around you, when your money funny, when your chain strange, that you can still lift God and say, God, I trust you. Amen. Did anybody want to be in that place of rest? Well, I, well I'm just 
I'm just going to trust God. Amen. I'm God. I'm trusting you. Amen. That rests. Amen. That rests. That rests. That rests. And so he says to be diligent to enter that rest. What comes after that? He says, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. And so the thing that that, that the writer of, of, of Hebrews, and for those that don't know, this is the Apostle Paul. And so the, 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 the thing that we have to understand is this. Now, he just talked about this, that, that rest. And I took us back to verse 1 to talk about what that rest was. But look what he says after that. Once again, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. And so for us to understand that, we have to know what's going on again prior to it, prior to us getting here. And so, but I'll just give this up and try to give you a brief summary of what was going on. And so, uh, uh, so Paul is, is, is he, he, he's, he, he's reading this letter to the Hebrews. He's telling them that he's like, listen, you're getting caught up. Amen. In the works, you're getting caught up in doing the works. In other words, it, what he's telling them is you're getting caught up in the old. You get you getting so caught up in the old ways of doing things. He's like, listen, the work that you're talking about or that you're trying to do, Christ has already done. He done on the cross. Amen. He says so. That type of work that you think you're doing, it doesn't require that. He say he say he say so. Listen, listen. I'm gonna read it again now. He says, "Lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience." And so, because because again, if if we're not listening to God, if we're not taking time to hear what God says, Amen. Then whatever we're doing, Amen, is disobedient because we're not being obedient to what He's telling us. Why? Because we can't even hear Him. Okay, let me break. Let me let me make it a, a little bit plainer. Okay, now we know that he's talking about the children of Israel. All right, because again, listen to this: Let anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. And so we go back to to, to this time now that Moses had get uh, God had uh, he he was talking to Moses on behalf of the people. Amen. Remember, Moses used to go up to the mountain and God would speak to him. We know that his face was 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 shining and so forth and so on. And so then he went back down and he delivered Amen, the, the, the word to the people. But the people got tired of waiting on the word. Amen. And so why, why, instead of waiting on the word, what they were, anybody that remember the story, we know that they begin to build their own gods. Amen. They, they, they begin to take up all the gold and, and, and build this calf and uh, uh, of gold and so they can look at it, so they can worship instead of waiting for the word of God. In other words, they had to be working. They had to be doing something. They had, they just, they just had to. And, and we know that they lost their lives. Glory to God. Amen. Through disobedience. Amen. He already told them that I'm your God. Amen. I'm, 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 hey, you will serve me. I'm your God. And so we know that they were left there in the desert. Amen. Amen. They were left there in the wilderness. Glory to God. And so, so, so you say, well, Apostle, what that got to do with anything? The thing I'm telling us is that the word will find us just as the word found them. Amen. Doing, being disobedient and doing the things that they had no business doing. Amen. Instead of waiting for the word of the Lord, instead of getting in a position, in a posture to, that, 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 to, to receive the word of God, they were busy working. They were busy creating something. They were busy trying to trying to do what they thought was right. Amen. What they felt like was right, or, or what they instead of hearing what God. And so the, again, I'm telling us, Amen, that you can that we, you, me, we can do a lot of good works here in the earth, Amen. But if God didn't call us to it, Amen, uh, uh, then we're out of order. Why? Because God may have designed for us to be over here, and we over here doing what we think is right, and that is disobedience, Amen. That is disobedience. Come on. The word will find us. The word will find us. And so what it's telling us, he says, let anyone fall according to the same uh, example of disobedience, of disobedience. And so we need to be able to come into the rest of God. Amen. The, uh, or, or if not, we'll be disobedient because in the rest of God is where we're able to hear him. In the rest of God is what he's able to minister to us. And the rest of God is what he's able to speak to our hearts, where he's able to lead us and guide us. Amen. Because, again, that's in the rest. And so that's why we have to be diligent to enter into that rest. If not, then we'll be caught in, 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 in being in the same example of disobedience. I hope this is making sense to us today.
Amen. And so just as the people were, just as the Hebrews were, amen, Paul had already given them a word. They, they had already uh, begin to exercise their faith. Amen. But after a while, they began to settle into, in, in, in other words, begin to go back into the things of old. It's, such as the church today, some people come into the some they come into the faith, Amen. They be they they, they, they fall in love with God and they run in the they run in real good. Then all of a sudden, Amen, something happened, or they feel like, well, I can go touch that. God don't really care, or I can touch this, or I can mess with that. And then and then all of a sudden, Amen, them things that them them, 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 them them little demons, them little imps, Amen, begin to multiply. And all of a sudden, they doing everything they was doing before they ever came to Christ. Why? Because they put their hands on some stuff. They start touching. They, Stop. And all of a sudden, I'm back because I never came into the rest. I never, <laughs> but to come into the rest, amen, I'll understand, amen, what God would have me to do instead of doing what I want to do, instead of doing what I think I should do, amen, instead of doing what religion or what, what, what religion has looked like, amen, for mama them, a big mama them, amen, for what they were doing, amen. God, God may have allowed that for their time, amen, but for you, God is saying, do this, do this, I, I need you to come into my rest, and I'll show you, I'll teach you, amen, I, I, I'll guide you on what to do and how to do, amen, I hope we're understanding this today, y'all get me, yeah. amen, take off my glasses, you can see my eyes, y'all get me, <laughs> amen, and so, again, the word will find us, the word will find us. I'm going to read this, this, this entire 11th verse again. Let us, listen to this. It says, let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, the rest of God. Amen. It says, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. And so again, unless anyone fall. And so it lets us know that, hey, you can be walking high, but you're subject to fall. I can be walking high, but I'm subject to fall. And so, listen, but if I remain diligent, amen, then that's not my portion. Amen. That's 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 not mine because I'm re I'm remaining diligent into coming into that rest. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, matter of fact, let me let, let, let me let, let me say this to us. The word will find us. The word will find us. And so I say that. Amen. And 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 and, and, and I love the subject area. Amen. Or or, or the the subject title that I've given this, and I love it because. Amen. Usually. The, the type of ministry that God has has, 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 has given me, amen, uh, again, I know that it's not for everyone, amen, let me, let me take that back, it is for everyone, but not everyone will eat of it, and the reason why uh, many won't eat of it is because um, it's heavy, amen, it's, it's, it's direct, Amen. It's, it's, it's in your face. <laughs> Amen. And so as a people, we don't necessarily like that. And that's okay that, that you don't like it. Amen. But everything that we don't like doesn't mean it's not good for us. And so I say that to say this. Amen. That the word will find us. The word will find us. And so what happens is in today's church, amen, we come in and we get real excited about the word of God. You know, sometimes we like a hoot. Uh, we like a squall. Uh, we like rhyming and, 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 and whatever. Amen. We like all these extra little stuff. Amen. And, and, and we enjoy the word. But do we ever get to it? But, but, but doing all that, do the word ever punch us? Amen. Do the word ever make you say, ooh, oh my God, I need to fix that. Does the word ever, ever, ever spank me say, God, I'm sorry. Does, does the word ever cause us to repent? And if it doesn't, amen, that's a problem. And, and, and I'm telling us this because the word will find us. The word will find us. That is the, that, that is the purpose of it, amen. The word, it, again, if the word was yesterday, today, and forever, amen, the, the word is, 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 as we'll continue to read, that word is living. Listen, catch this now. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting ready to pick up in verse 12. Listen to this. It says, for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Amen. And so again, it says, for the word of God is living and powerful. 
For the word of God is living and powerful. Now, there is there, 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 there's a lot of names, amen, for, for, for the word of God. You know, again, the scriptures, you know, the word. Uh, 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 matter of fact, I'm just going to say this. We know that Jesus became the word, amen. John tells us that the word became flesh and dwelled among us. And so it says that for the word of God is living. For the word of God is living. And so I want us to understand this. Amen. I want us to understand this. All right. Remember, we're already being diligent. Amen. To come into his rest. And we already know that it's that that, that some can fall short. Amen. Uh, uh, and fall into disobedience. But listen to what he says here. Listen, listen to how he says this. He says, for the word. For the word. Now, again, he's talking about falling into disobedience. And then he comes back and say, for the word. That's enough to get our attention right there. Amen. For the word. Come on, come on, dude. The word will find us. Listen, for the word of God is living. Now, he didn't say for the, he didn't say the word of apostle. He didn't say the word of your pastor. He didn't say the word of the, Eli, uh, uh, of the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Amen. He didn't say the word of Buddha. But the word of God, amen, the word of God, amen, the Bible. He said that this thing is living. The word of God, the scriptures, that they are living. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And when you look up that word living, that word literally means life. And that's why he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come on, somebody. He's, but he said, but that word living means life. He said, but the word of God is life. And so it's the word of God. That, 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 that gives us this life, amen? And so when you have this life, then you're able to rest, Jesus. Then you're able to rest in him because this word is living. Listen, it's alive. It's, it's a living, breathing organism, amen? And so many, many of us don't necessarily like that type of instruction, amen? God bless you there, amen, Elder Thompson, amen? God bless you, God bless you, amen? Uh, God bless you there, Sister Leslie, Amen. God bless you, Dad. Amen. Uh, but listen, Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Amen. We're now in the, in the, in the 12th verse. It starts off this way. It says, for the word of God. Amen. Got to back up a little bit. Amen. For the word of God is living and powerful. And so the thing that I'm telling us is that the, the, the word of God, the Bible, the, the word that we receive is living. Amen. And that's why, amen, when we come to Christ and we receive him, amen, that word goes to the heart. And when it goes to the heart, amen, it multiplies. It, 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 it uh, uh, is able to um, reproduce, amen? And that's why, amen, uh, 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 if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Why? Because it reproduced. It's produced something in us, amen? It's, it's reproduced. It, and not only did it reproduce, but it killed some stuff. Glory to God. Amen. The word. Now, this, this is what the word does for us. And I'm telling us that the word will find us. The word will find us. And so and so if 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 we're churching, if we're in the faith, if we're if we're in the presence of God, amen. Remember, I told us in the in the other series, uh, in, in the Make Me Over series, amen, about us staying in the outer courts. Amen. When there's a need to come into the inner courts. And so in the outer courts, amen, is where we like to shout, where we like to jump and dance. But that word should be hidden. That word should be convicting us. That word should be bringing about change in our life, amen, instead of just having a good time. The word comes to bring some change in our life. That word is living, amen. It's living. It's living, amen. It's living. And so as we uh, begin to look at this, amen, and understanding about this living word, amen, it's, it's important for us to grab it, amen, it's important for us to grab it, hallelujah, amen, and so uh, understand this, understand now, understand the word, hallelujah, amen, is living, and it will find us. And so if the word ain't found us, if we, if again, if, 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 if we're in the faith, and that word ain't came and found us and tagged us yet, amen, then something's wrong, amen. When, when the word of God comes, when we're in service, if, if, if I'm talking about more time than not, that that word ain't tagging us, that that word ain't, it ain't, it ain't doing something to convict us or, or 
I'm telling us we missing it. We missing it, y'all. Amen. The word will find us. Amen. It will. It will. Amen. Yeah. It brings hope. It brings uh, uh, life. Amen. But because we're already in the faith, listen. I'm talking because I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Christians today. Because we're already in the faith, Amen. It lets us know. Just we go back, Amen, to make me over again. We are on the Potter's wheel. And because we're on the potter's wheel, there's some shaping going on. There's some molding going on. There's, there's some things that are being revealed. Amen. There's some, the, the, the marring that's on us is being revealed. Amen. And so in order for, for, for that thing to be fixed, amen, the word has to find it. Come on, somebody. Why? The one that has us on the wheel is the word. Jesus. It's Jesus. He, he's the word. And so he has us on the wheel. He's, he's shaping. He's 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 he's, he's, he's and so the word will find, and so he's the one that finds the Mari. And so the word finds the Mari. The word finds the issues. The word finds it. And it says, because again, it's living. Now, anything dead can't find nothing. But it's living. It's living. And so, matter of fact, I go, I, I, I go even further to say, amen, e even when you, when you think about your body and, and how they do uh, x-rays and, 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 and how they do the, the little scopes, you know, uh, which they, they, go, they go in a couple different directions. <laughs> but when they do their little scopes, amen, that they're able to identify some things that are going on in your body, amen. But it takes that camera to go down there, amen, and see what's going on. Amen. It, it takes that camera to reveal what's happening. Amen. And so can I tell us that, 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 that the word of God is like that camera. The word of God goes in and begins to search. The word of God goes in and begins to, oh, they got a sis. Oh, they got some polish. Oh, they got some. And see, that camera begins to, and so that's, that's what the word of God does for us. Come on. Somebody say the, somebody say the word. The word will find us. Amen. And so that, that that's what it does. Oh, they, they got they got some envy in here. Oh, they got some they got a they got a little hate in here. Oh, they got a little they still got a little lust going on. Oh, it still got a little. That's what the word does for us. And it should do that for us uh often. <laughs> Regularly. Amen. The word will find us. Glory to God. And so if we're churching and we say that we're of the faith and we just mm, Mm, just rocking, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing happening. The word ain't, ain't, ain't convicting us. And every now and then we just shando. We just throw our hands up. But the word ain't never convicting us, telling us to get some things right, telling us to fix this or fix that. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Because I'm telling us, the word will find us. The word will find us. How do you know? Amen. Let's go back here. Amen. We're still in verse twelve. We're still in verse twelve. Listen to this. It says, for the word of God is living. Listen, the word of God, the word of God, the word of God. And so I told us that the word of God got a whole lot of uh, 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 things, a uh, uh, symbolism. Throughout, throughout the Bible, there's some symbol, uh, 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 symbolic things that, 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 that the word is. And one of those things is it's a mirror. Amen. And so the mirror will cause us to begin to look at ourselves. And so because, again, sometimes we can look at ourselves and think we're okay. Or... We can think we're okay until we look in the mirror, then we'll notice what a thing is. And so the word of God will find us. And so it's a mirror. Not only is it a it's a hammer. The word will come, it'll, it'll hammer out some stuff if we allow it to. Amen. It'll, 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 it'll hammer, it'll, it'll, it'll get on it and, and begin to, matter of fact, it's, it's even a, 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 a laven. A laven. And what the laven is, it's, it, it'll cleanse. Amen. We, we know that the laven, it, it, it allows us to be to be cleansed. Amen. I, 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 read, in the, I read in the Bible where it's even like uh, the, the, the word of God is like rain. Amen. It's like snow. The word of God is, is, is rain or snow. The word of God is gold. Amen. To enrich us. Amen. It, it's all these things. I, 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 it's, it's seed. Amen. Everybody understand what I'm saying? So the word of God is living. It's, it's all these things. And it, 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 it does this for us. And so when we consider it as a mirror, amen, matter, matter of fact, uh, uh, it, it's light. Glory to God. Amen. The word is, it, come on. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Fleming. And so that the word is all these things. And so it is living. And so when, it, when, when, when we get this word, amen, in that light, it illuminates some 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 dark places in our life. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about people with, with like, you know, cans, whatever they say. I see some spots 
on your lung. Amen. I see some spots over here. But the word wants us without spot <laughs> or wrinkle. Glory to God, somebody. And so it has to reveal these things. And so when the word of God comes, because it's living, it's able to find these things. It's able to, listen, I, I hope we're getting this thing today. The word will find us. The word will find us. And so when we get this type of instruction or teaching, amen, some people literally get mad at the word of God or they hate the one that's given the word. But I'm, but I'm here to tell us, amen, that the word will find us. And if the word never finds us, then we are missing it or letting us know that we're remaining in the outer courts. Amen. When God is calling us into the inner courts. Amen. God is calling us to draw closer to him. He's calling us to get into his presence. Amen. And so in, in the presence of God, it's a revealer, man. It, it, it'll begin to reveal some things. Amen. It, 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 listen, matter of fact, another word, amen, for, 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 for uh, 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 living, amen, is, is that, let me see, how can I say it? I just say it, it's alive. I, I'll just use that. It's alive. It's alive. That, that it's it's, it's a weight, <laughs> it's active, it's an active ingredient, amen, that, 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 that is doing what it does, hallelujah, amen. And so, again, I hope, I hope we're understanding this today, that the word will find us, amen, the word will find us. And so, anybody want to be found today, amen, I hope that's all of us, because if, 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 if we're going to be found, amen, if we allow the word to find us, amen, and begin to, 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 to reveal some stuff about us, it's letting us know that we're, that, that we're trying to enter into that rest. Because, again, if the word never finds us, there's no way to enter into that, into the rest of God. We'll still be worried about this. We'll still be trying to figure this out. We'll still be trying to figure that out. Or we'll be coasting, thinking we're doing okay, and we'll actually be walking in disobedience. Amen. But if but as the word begins to uh, 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 prick and convict and, and, and find us, amen, we begin to, Lord, help me in that area. God, fix me. Show me how to get past this. Show me how to get over this hump. Show me how to how to lay that thing down. God, kill this in me. God, remove this. Pluck up, root up, tear down. Do whatever you got to do. And God, that I may be better for you, that I may do the things that you call me to do and not what I want to do. Hallelujah. Amen. So listen, we're still there. For the word of God is living. And it goes on to say, and powerful. And powerful. So not only is it living, not only does it come in and, 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 and it's living and it's moving, it's breathing, it's, it's working in our life. Amen. Meaning that it's active. Amen. That it's, it's, it's moving. The word, it's, it's alive. It's life. Glory to God. And so without this life, Amen. We're existing and not living. Amen. But it's but it's also powerful. It's also powerful. And so that word powerful, amen, literally means, amen, if, if, if you think about it, it says that it's living and powerful. Powerful means meaning that it's able to uh, 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 we'll put it like this. If, if 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 I got lights on around me. Without power, those lights can't come on. And so it means that even in that, that it's active, that, that it's a participant. Amen. That, that is, it's participating. And so power is participating in your life. Come on. The glory of God, the word of God, the power of God is participating. It is active in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, listen to how it, how it reads. For the word of God is living and powerful. Amen. Once again, for the word of God is living and powerful. Remember, we're trying to enter into this rest. Amen. We're trying to enter into the word, the, into the uh, uh, the rest of God. And so for us to, to, to think that 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 uh, that we don't have that the word is not powerful enough. Amen. To 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 maneuver us through life. Amen. We're missing it. Why? Because it's telling us that it is. The word is not it's living and powerful. So it's alive and it's powerful. Amen. It's powerful. Amen. Than anything the devil has. Amen. It's powerful. It's more powerful than anything this world has. Amen. And so again, I, 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 I want to say this in, in just in hopes that we'll grab it and understand what, 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 what I'm trying to tell us. Amen. Because if you go back up and you, and you begin to read this, amen, 
what you'll find, I mean, through, through Hebrews and even some of the other texts, is that the children of, 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 of Israel, the Hebrews, amen, they had this thing of believing that, hey, we are of uh, Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham. Or, amen, we're, we're out of Moses, amen, or that we're out of Joshua. But if you go back up and you read this, he's, the thing that, that, that Paul is telling them is that Jesus is greater than Joshua. Jesus is greater than Moses. Amen. And so he is the word. Amen. And so he, what he's telling them is that, hey, listen, the rest that you're talking about, that, that, or, or, the, or the word or the way that you're talking about, amen, is in, is, is in Christ. Amen. It's in Jesus. It's in his, his rest. Not your rest. Not the rest of Moses. Not the rest of Joshua. Amen. But it's in him. Amen. And so when we look at this and we begin to, to take on and understand that, man, he's telling them that, hey, Jesus is greater than, than, than the ones that, that, that even uh, that came before him and that they were talking about him. Amen. And so when we look at it, listen, 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 y'all notice I'm trying to take my time today. <laughs> I really am trying to take my time. Listen, to, but listen, I, I need us. But, you know, I'm a word person. I love the word. But listen, listen to what it says. For the word of God is living and powerful, living and powerful. And so it's power, man. It's power in the word of God. Amen. Because he is the word. And so the power to overcome, the power, amen, to, 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 to continue, the power to persevere, the power to walk in deliverance, the power to walk in your healing. All this, amen, is through the word of God. When the word finds us and we receive the word and it begins to live inside of us, amen, it's also powerful enough to keep us, amen. It's also powerful enough, amen, where we can resist the devil and he has to flee. Come on, somebody say the word will find us. Amen. Okay, but if the word never find us, amen, we'll always be over here where the devil had me, you know the devil had me. What? You know I just couldn't help myself. I just, no, 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 no. The word is living and powerful. Amen. And so because it's powerful, it gives us the power to do the things we need to do. Amen. It gives us the power to be able to, to fight. Amen. It gives us the power when we need to run, to run. Amen. It gives us the power to overcome. Glory to God. Amen. Why? Because this is the word. It's living. And so because it's living, it knows how to react. It knows what to do. Amen. It's alive. Hallelujah, somebody. The word will find us. It's alive. Amen. So it knows what to do. It knows how to do what it needs to do inside of us. Amen. But what happens is we think that we got it. Amen. I'm smart enough. Amen. What 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 is it Richard Simmons used to say? And doggone it, I love myself. Whatever he used to say. Anyway. But the thing that I'm that, that I'm trying to help us with is that we can't live that way. Our life is in Christ. Amen. Our life is in him. And so because we're in him, it is him who leads and guides us. Amen. And so matter of fact, even when you look at uh, 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 the word living, amen, it literally means, uh, 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 I, don't, I, can't, I can't think of the right word, but, it's, but it means to be led. Amen. To be led. And so uh, living to be led. And so for, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. And so to be living is to be led, is to have life. And so God is the one that's leading us. Amen. He's the one that's guiding us and, and directing our path. Amen. Come on. The word will find us. And so because he desires to lead us, amen, he has to find us, amen, and begin to work on these things so we'll follow him. Amen. That's why he said, come. Follow me. Amen. And so we're to follow him because if not, we'll begin to follow the doctrines of men. We'll begin to follow traditions. We'll begin to follow our own thoughts, our own desires. Amen. What makes us happy. Amen. Living our best life. We'll begin to follow those things. But he says, follow me. Amen. And so as the word of God leads us, even with the works that I talked about with our hands, as the, as the Lord leads us, then we'll do this. We'll do that. Amen. And, and if we don't do this or don't do that, we'll still be able to rest. In God. Amen. We are still able to rest in him. Hallelujah. Come on. The word will find us. 
The word will find us. I hope we're understanding this thing today, amen, and that is bringing a little bit of clarity, amen, that is bringing a little bit of, 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 of hope, amen, to where we are today. And, and again, to remind us, amen, that God desires us, amen, to be diligent about coming into that rest, amen, into his rest. Not because, listen, I'm going to tell you this. Amen. Sometimes, amen, the, the, and I'm just going to say, you know, the seventh day or the, the, the Sabbath, the Sabbath keepers. I'm just going to say it like that. The Sabbath keepers. Amen. Because see, what happens is in, in the part that even when you read this, it, it'll kind of help you understand. Amen. The Sabbath keepers is this. Amen. Because some think the Sabbath is what makes you holy because I kept the Sabbath because I do this. But, but listen. The sinner can keep the Sabbath. <laughs> Amen. The sinner can keep the Sabbath. And so we have to understand that it's greater than that, than just keeping the Sabbath. Amen. It's, it's greater because listen, God, yes, we know that God rested on the seventh day. Amen. But why did he rest? Why did he rest? And he rest because his work was finished. <laughs> Amen. And so we get so caught up on thinking about the set. And again, I, I ain't trying to beat up on. I'm, I'm just trying to help us. Amen. But but he rests because his work was finished. Amen. What he what 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 he intended to do was finished. And so we have to understand that the only way we can rest in God is to do what he told us to do and be and finish with that. Amen. But we still so caught up in doing what we want to do that we'll miss what God has called us to do. And therefore, we are in disobedience. Amen. So, again, the sinner man can keep the Sabbath. Amen. In other words, amen, I ain't working. I ain't doing nothing to this, this day or that. So, it's not about that. Come on. The word will find us. The word will find us. And I pray that today this word has found us. Amen. amen. You know I'm coming back next week. Amen. Uh, the Lord say the same. And we're going to continue to dig into this thing. Amen. And, and help us to understand what we're talking about, about the word will find us. Amen. That we may be diligent to enter into that rest. Glory to God. Once again, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you. God bless you. Peace.